There are more than 4,000 short-term rentals in the city of St. Louis right now. The city has no regulations for short-term rentals, but that could change as city leaders are inching closer to getting some new rules on the book. As News 11's Laura Simon reports, some people who own rental properties are worried that certain restrictions could put them out of business. Amanda McCracken owns three rental properties across from Tower Grove Park and one in Dogtown. They're completely renovated. I didn't buy them in good shape. So that, you know, I've pumped money into the city and I've been rehabbing. McCracken fears new ordinances and Alderman Manic Committee is considering run her out of business. This is one of her short term rentals and she says her units are set up for families, not for parties. I feel like I should be able to have occupancy like that of a hotel. And I that's going to hurt me if I can't advertise that I have a house large enough for their family because that's why people come here. They want to be together as a family. No one wants a party house next to them and those should be stopped. But this is not that. Steve Pona lives down the street from McCracken. He has had such an issue with short term rentals near his home. He put these signs up letting people know not to park on his private property. He tells me the house next door has been a party house and now it has a cease and desist letter on the door. They're being notified that they are a nuisance property and the process has taken over a year and a half to finally document this to the point that the city is taking action. The Transportation and Commerce Committee is considering rules that would require permits for those who offer short term rentals, banning single night rentals and requiring people with permits be available to customers and police at all times. I already do a lot of what the city is is trying to implement. But Pona, who started the group Neighborhoods for Neighbors, wants even tougher restrictions than what board bills 33 and 34 propose. What we're asking for is for the city to put in some effective legislation to enforce it and to promote families and community again. As the committee plans to vote on a final proposal Tuesday, McCracken wants them to hear from one of her customers and clear up some misconceptions. Tanya Cooper and her cousins are visiting St. Louis from Oklahoma and Wisconsin. Airbnbs has been the best solution for our families in St. Louis. But if Pona doesn't get what his group is asking for, we'll move out of city. I've been a passionate, supporter and defender of the city for 50 years. I'm out. Gone. Reporting in South St. Louis, Laura Simon, News 11.